Item Number, SCP-199 Name, Spy Ferns Object Class, Plant Description, SCP-199 is a species of fern within the Hymenophilaceae family. SCP-199 is tangentially related to filmy ferns, but is more tolerant to temperature, humidity, pollution, and external damage. The rhizomes of the plants can attach to and grow on most solid surfaces. SCP-199-S appearance is similar of that of Thalus liverworts, but its fronds are unique to its species. The fronds of SCP-199 will form into bladders approximately 10 cm in diameter, designated SCP-199-2. Eventually, they will fill with hydrogen gas generated by SCP-199, detach from the main plant, and drift into the air. SCP-199-2 will eventually float at one mile above sea level, and begin to ripen. During this period, SCP-199-2 will emit SCP-199-3 at an initial rate of one signal per hour, steadily increasing as SCP-199-2 ripens. Once SCP-199-2 is ripe, it will burst, releasing its contents. In most cases, SCP-199-2 is empty, and its explosion will not have any consequences. Occasionally, the explosion of SCP-199-2 will release seeds that grow into new instances of SCP-199. SCP-199-3 refers to radio signals produced by SCP-199-2. All radio signals consist of a high-pitched male voice, speaking in Mandarin Chinese, giving analysis reports consisting of observations made from SCP-199-2 and status reports of SCP-199-2 itself. Analysis of SCP-199-2 has shown that neither the source of the voice nor the radio signals exist, as most instances of SCP-199-2 are empty. SCP-199 seems to thrive in polluted environments, implying that it is adapted to grow in heavily populated areas. In addition, SCP-199 is resistant to most pesticides. SCP-199 is most commonly seen growing in chimneys, gardens of large cities, and inside of industrial factories. SCP-199 was originally discovered after residents of Xi'an, China reported balloon-like objects colliding with hotels and interference with radio devices. The source of SCP-199-2 was found to be a patch of it within the center of the city. Instances of SCP-199 have since been discovered in several large cities, most notably New York City, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Beijing, and Tokyo. Special Containment Procedures A garden of SCP-199 has been built at Site-19 for research and containment. The garden is kept in a ventilated containment unit with artificial light suitable for plant growth and an automatic watering system. The ceiling is covered with an electrified grate capable of destroying instances of SCP-199-2. The entire chamber is to be surrounded with a Faraday cage to prevent emission of SCP-199-3. Instances of SCP-199 or SCP-199-2 found outside of containment are to be destroyed with fire or pesticides.